Right, the pub's down there. I think it's called the Crown Inn or something like that. I don't know, it could have been the King's Arms. There's two pubs. There's a Nelson's Arms further down, which has a big, bold, brash eating place. And I've just walked up the path here. I'm over at Churchill. I've just taken some pictures of the pub. And, um... Walked up this hill. I've walked, I got off at Sanford bus stop near the church and then walked. There is a bus I could get, which I might do another time. Um, it's the A2 or something. It's a, it's a Bristol Airport one you can get. Um, I keep forgetting about that one. Uh, but I don't mind. Sometimes I quite like the walk through um, the village. Past the post office, the village town hall or village hall. You know, you get to see features. So, I didn't mind today, actually. I mean, I arrived at Sanford about half nine. It's took, taken me to get to this stage, which isn't very far into the walk. An hour. And it's already starting to get very hot. It's probably been hot since eight o'clock. Forgot my hat today, but I can use my, my small denim jacket thing. So anyway, what it is, um, we're heading for Rowbarrow Fort, which is over that way, and there's a little track up here that gets you across to um, another little track across the main road go up towards the fort. Now I haven't decided whether I'm going to walk up the fort or around it because that was the plan last week was to follow the stream and walk up the base of the fort but uh, I got bitten to pieces last week. Oh, I bite everywhere and I'm expecting it today. I've put a small bit of spray on, but it's, I've had to have an inhaler because um, it's brought on the asthma. Just having a little bit of um, anti-pest spray on me around the ankles and legs mainly. Small of the back. I don't know if it'll work. It's, like, it's ancient, that stuff. I think I got it when I went to Malta. Anyway, um... I haven't decided, but I don't know if I want to climb up the fort. I might do the base, because I've done the fort not long ago. Um, climbed up it, but from the other side. But of course, I know, I know what's going to happen. It's, it's, I'll get a taste of it even in here. Is that um, the flies, especially when we get near any cows or anything. Look, that's an interesting gully, isn't it? That's an interesting cut out there. It seems very deliberate. It's probably all to do with mining. This is all mining area around here. So it's probably to do with mining in the past. I've probably got a leaflet somewhere. I've done this walk quite a few times now. On different cameras. Um, and I was, there are some other good walks, if you go that way, which I haven't done yet. There's a big wood from Sanford, which I do want to explore. Um, I need to get it online first, get, get, go and have a real detailed look. Because there are all sorts of walks through, through here and everything, look. But there, I reckon there's a walk through that Sanford wood. I, I, it's bound to be. Um, but uh, I will find out I've seen lots of public footpaths leading off the main road when I was walking along it I've been, but um, it would save me having to walk the main road really if there was a more pleasant walk through a wood wouldn't it although it could take me longer who knows but it's worth exploring just on its own I will find out 
But for now, this is an introductory video, video one, on the 17th of July 2017. So today we got three sevens. Now that is very lucky for some people. In theory, three sevens, I've always been told, like three threes are lucky. Because we've got a seven, in fact, in the 17. We've got a seven because it's the seventh month. And we've got a seven because it's 2017. So, um, I've only just thought of that, actually. So hopefully this will be a good day. I've got my usual pat lunch. I have cut down on the weight that I normally cart around with me. Um, it feels a lot lighter than usual, my bag, actually. Um, maybe I've brought a slightly smaller water bottle, which is a possibility I, I might have done. But it's a risk I'm going to take. Uh, when I get to Cheddar, I can always fill up my water. Because that's where the ultimate aim is, to go at the base of Roe Barrow Fort, follow round by Roe Barrow Warren, and then walk across the area of Outstanding Beauty at the base, not the very base, not the Burrington Coombe Road or anything like that. It'll be where the ferns are. Um, it's carrying on. You could really call this an extension of my walk the other week where I came up from Winscombe up the West Mendip Way. Now all I'm doing today is, um, look at those little steps. That's definitely little steps there, isn't it? All I'm doing today is going back but on different tracks. So I'm back. I will be back on the area of Outstanding Beauty. At the moment, all you can hear is a very busy, dangerous road which I've got to cross. I can't remember the name of it, but I know it's awful. At the top of that hill, though, you can get down to uh, turn off and go to Rowborough. There's a little lane uh, down by the church and everything. Right, there's this Sheila then, turning off for now. 